Rama. I'm an esthetician here at the Lash House Philly and I'll be doing a Brazilian wax today and answering some questions. So these are some of the common questions I'm asked before Brazilian wax. Um, does it hurt? The first wax is usually the one where you'll feel the most discomfort, but following that, the hair will come in less, it'll be finer, and make the experience a lot less pain. Another question that I get asked is how would you prep for a Brazilian wax? So first things first, um, the hair should be about the length of rice. Um, it needs to be long enough so that all the hair is grown up so when we go and remove the hair, it all holds tight to the wax. Another prepping um, should be exfoliating prior to coming in for a wax. So in case of uh, ingrown hairs, exfoliating prior to will help lift the hairs up so that when we go to pull, we remove all of it at once. It is better to wax uh, over shaving because shaving stimulates hair growth. The hair will come in thicker with shaving. When we wax, what we're doing is removing it from the root. And when you pull it over and over and over again, the hair comes in finer, softer, and eventually will stop growing in areas. Um, shaving also tends to cause irritation um, in ingrowns. Waxing will help reduce the likelihood of ingrowns and will leave you softer and smoother for longer. So the first thing I'm going to do is just cleanse the skin. That's going to remove any sweat or oil before we start to wax. Then I'm going to dry. Following that, I'm going to use a little bit of baby powder. Now, all the baby powder does is kind of soak up any leftover uh, moisture that might be on the skin because any moisture is going to make the wax not stick. All right. Now, the best wax to use for Brazilians and for most body waxing is hard wax. It's suitable for sensitive skin, for all hair types. Hard wax does not take skin with each pull. So the problem with most places is that they tend to use soft wax or the strip wax. Um, with that, it removes layer after layer each time you go over an area. Um, that can cause redness, irritation, and could cause breaks in the skin. Immediately after pulling, we apply pressure. That helps to take the sting away. Once you start getting Brazilians, it's recommended to come in every four to six weeks. Um, the different kinds of Brazilian, there are different kinds of waxes that you can get for this area. So if you do want to leave hair, you don't have to take all of it. A Brazilian wax includes as much or as little as you want from the front, and that also includes the butt. A bikini would include as much or as little as you want in the front. That could also just be the line, anything that's hanging outside of the underwear. You can do triangles, landing strips. Um, however, Brazilians are the most common types of waxing. And most people's fear is that the butt would be the most sensitive part to wax. However, it's the least painful. You can always come in for a wax while you're on your period or while you're pregnant. I will say that you're more sensitive on your period. We just ask that you wear a tampon when you come in. Um, when you're pregnant, I would suggest having come in early on or before um, becoming pregnant. That way, uh, once, you st once you start getting waxed, again, once you are pregnant, it won't be as uncomfortable. The hair will already be thinner. The people that I would suggest to not get a wax are those that are on certain kinds of medications. We will be able to let you know if you call in and try to book an appointment um, which ones will not allow you to get a wax at the time. I would also suggest not drinking the night prior to a wax. Drinking um, hours before getting a wax can thin out your blood, make you more likely to bleed during a wax, and can make you more sensitive. Immediately following a wax, you want to avoid sun exposure to that area for the first 24 hours. You want to avoid sweating, so working out, try to push that until tw after 24 to 48 hours after your wax, only because the initial, um, initially after a wax, your pores are going to be wide open, so any kind of sweat or oil that gets in there could cause you to have it ingrown, it will clog your pores. Um, 
You can take a cold shower after a wax that'll actually help to close up your pores faster, that way preventing ingrown hairs. A first time wax takes between 15 and 30 minutes. Um, following that first wax, it typically only takes about 10 to 15 minutes. That is because um, on your initial time getting a wax, we don't know the direction of the hair growth, how much hair there is, so there is some prep and we talk to you during the wax. You should be coming in for a wax every four to six weeks. Um, what else? I would avoid coming in or pushing a wax out after six weeks just because that's when the hair will tend to grow more quickly. Um, you can still come in, just avoid trying to trim or shave or anything on your own. If the hair you think would be too long, we'll be able to trim it here before we start to wax. After you begin waxing, it's important that you never go back to shaving. Shaving again after you've begun waxing is going to stimulate hair growth and cause the hair to come back in thicker again. Um, if you avoid shaving and just stick to waxing, you're going to notice uh, hair loss and the hair thinning uh, quickly. Here at the Lash House Philly, we do offer our waxing to men as well. We come in for back waxes, chest, stomach, um, we do nose waxes, mm -hmm. shoulders, eyebrows. Back waxes for men are actually very popular. Not only is it going to thin out the hair on your back, but if you feel like you have acne scarring or you tend to get acne on your back, um, having your back waxed will kind of open up those pores and then using the depilatory serum after the wax will just help to um, dry out any oil or sweat there. It can also exfoliate, which can help lighten dark marks caused by acne scars um, and leave you overall just smoother and more even toned after a wax. Waxing is also more preferred over laser just because laser is not guaranteed hair removal. Um, you do have to have a number of sessions before you see permanent hair loss, um, but then you have to keep up with it regularly. Now with waxing, it's a cheaper alternative and you see immediately results after usually around six to 12 months of waxes. Um, laser, laser sessions are very expensive and also not guaranteed for every hair type. Usually the darker the skin, um, it can cause scarring. Um, you have to have a very specific skin and hair type for the laser to work its best on the skin. And when you're doing laser treatments, you also have to shave. So you are still getting that stubbly hair coming back. Whereas with waxing, you have a very fine hair and you'll notice after it starts to grow back, even after your first initial wax, you won't be as bothered by the hair because it's not, it's not irritating to the skin. It's very soft, it's very fine. We lay strips, lots of pressure, just to ensure that the hair sticks to the wax. You let the wax dry, so when you can touch it and your hand's not sticking to the wax, that's when it's ready. Hold down the skin nice and taut, that's important, just to ensure that um, it's the least discomfort. Once you have your grip on the wax, it's one quick motion and then immediate pressure. And that ensures that um, it takes the, the immediate sting away. After a wax, what we're going to do is put a post depilatory cream on. That's going to be soaked up immediately because this is when the pores are going to be very, very wide open and this will help to keep the area um, nice and clean and help to prevent any kind of ingrown. So you can book your appointment with me. My name is Emma. I'm here at the Lash House Philly. Um, you can book an appointment online at slaymylashes.com. Instagram, Facebook, and Yelp, you can find us at Lash House Philly. Um, and we are located in Philadelphia. Just call in or stop by and book an appointment today.